In this episode of Go Fast Brett, we are pressure testing a factory diverter valve. I've got an intercooler here from a Subaru, a factory Subaru valve. Now blocked off this end, we're gonna send boost pressure into there as if there was a turbo connected to it. We've got a boost leak tester. If you wanna see how to make one of those, Mighty Car Mods did an episode on that. I've got my pressure regulator here and a couple of gauges so we can see what's going on in the system. So to begin, we put pressure through the regulator into this side as if that were the turbo. Then from this side, we're collecting the same boost pressure, feeding it to the top of the diverter valve as that would be when you're on boost from the manifold. And then we're going to see the, uh, the pressure that we can get here and check whether this valve is leaking. I'm gonna start feeding some boost in. Now at the moment, you can see both gauges are reading pretty much the same. So that means we've got no leaks in the system here. I can't hear anything leaking. We're gonna go a bit further. Now I can hear some leaking coming from the outlet of the valve. And we are at 22 PSI. I'm gonna keep going and see what else we get. Now what you're gonna notice is the more I crank up the system pressure, the less this needle's gonna move, because this is basically the pressure at the valve right now. So I'm gonna take the inlet, 30 PSI going in. We've only got 24 PSI here. No matter how much I feed into there, we cannot increase the intercooler pressure any further because it's basically flying out of there. So what does this mean? Well, basically, uh, up until about 20 to 22 PSI, this valve was doing fine. So as long as you're running below that, this valve's doing its job. But as soon as we got to 22 PSI, you can see here the valve just started to lift off the seat and it was bleeding some pressure. Then as we increased the boost pressure even further, by the time we got to 24, this valve was blowing open so much that we couldn't increase the pressure any further. So if you're gonna be running high boosts on your car, the factory diverter valve is probably going to need to be replaced. 